about 15 years now. Let's make it 23 degrees. Oh, shall oh absolutely. We? Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to do it. Yeah. All right, let's put this to bed. There we go. All right, that looks good. Ships veering to veering to port, go 22 knots. Side swipes the iceberg. Murdoch ports uh, around the iceberg, try to keep from hitting the propellers. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now we're watching an accelerated time. We see the first five compartments flood. They equalize pretty quickly. Bows pulled down. We see the port list. Port list looks right. That looks like about nine degrees. Well, you can really see the uh, the effect of that that list on the on the flooding. So yeah, superstructure starts to get pulled under. Funnels collapse at their base. Now the bow is accelerating downward. That, that looks good. We're starting to see the stern come up. We got our maximum peak stress and yeah, boom, boom, breaks. Okay, bow swinging down. That looks good. The double keel hang on. And then they separate. Bow plunges straight down. All right, we got mass snapping back. The, uh, the funnels are ripping backwards, pulling off all the davits. Bow's going down like a torpedo. Here's the angle when it falls when it falls through into a stable position. Let's see the stern. Healing way over to port. That looks right. And she goes, yep, that's right. She goes almost vertical just when she goes under and then boom, implodes. Now she accelerates and all the stuff starts to rip off. See the shell plating going. There goes the double bottom. Double bottom frisbeeing off. And the stern's falling through. So now the stern's falling uh, uh, aft end down and uh, we see the spiraling. Here comes the bow. Bow is falling in a stable position and it hits. Yeah, boom, it kind of breaks its back and we see the hydraulic outburst and the downblast effect. Let's see the stern. We see the shell plating blown off, decks, everything kind of settling around it. Looks like a big airplane crash site. Bada bing, bada boom, that's exactly what we're looking for.